Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us see what is EXO and ENDO configuration. What is actually configuration? Configuration is the arrangement of the groups within the space. For example, if you take a simple compound like this, this is an alkane with four carbons, so it is a butane. Now, what is the configuration of the butane? In order to show the configuration and exist as configurational isomers, a compound should have stereoactive center. But in the alkane, the stereoactive center is not present, so it cannot exist as different configurational isomers and it exists as a single compound. But it can show the different configurations at the different time within the space, which we call the conformations. Conformational isomers are easily interconvertible, so they cannot be separated at the room temperature. So they will exist as a single compound at room temperature. In this way, butane is not having any stereoactive center, so it cannot show the configurational isomers. Now let us take another compound. This is the diene, and simply it is 1,3-butadiene. Is there any stereoactive center present in this compound? Stereoactive center is the carbon which is attached to the four different groups or the carbon which is having the pi bond and attached to the two different groups. So here we can observe the two pi bonds which are attached with the carbons but still we cannot find any stereo center in this compound because here this carbon is having the two hydrogens which are equal groups. Similarly here again carbon is having the two hydrogens which are equal groups. In order to show the geometrical isomerism or configuration isomerism the carbon should be attached to the two different groups. So 1,3-butadiene cannot show the configuration isomerism, so it cannot exist as two configuration isomers. But still 1,3-butadiene can show different configurations within the space. How it is possible? Now let us take the 1,3-butadiene, we can represent the structure like this. And we can also represent the 1,3-butadiene in another way, like this. So in the first one, you can see that the pi bonds are connected by a single bond. Now this single bond is nothing but the sigma bond. And with respect to the sigma bond, one of the pi bond is below the sigma bond and another pi bond is above the sigma bond. That means they are in the opposite directions. Therefore, this type of diene is the S trans diene. That means it has a trans configuration with respect to the sigma bond. Similarly, in the second structure, you can see that the pi bonds are on the same side to the sigma bond. So now this configuration is the S cis configuration. In this way, 1,3-butadiene can exist in the two configurations with respect to the sigma bond, either S trans configuration or S cis configuration. S trans configuration is more stable than the S cis configuration because the groups are more separated. But actually, just like the conformational isomers, these two configurations are easily interconvertible at the room temperature. So they show a little change in their properties because they are easily interconvertible. But sometimes we can fix this configuration with extension of the bonds such that we can observe a large difference in their chemical properties. For example, let us take the S cis configuration. Now we are going to extend the bonds like this and we are going to connect in this way. Now this becomes 1,3-cyclopentadiene and this is having S cis configuration but which is fixed by cyclic structure. Now this compound can be called as condensed S cis diene because the S cis configuration is condensed within the cyclic structure. Similarly, let us take the S trans diene. Now let us extend the bonds like this so that we are going to form a cyclic structure for both of these pi bonds. Now this is a cyclic structure with two pi bonds, each pi bond within one cycle where this S trans configuration is going to be condensed by a cyclic structure. So this is called as condensed S trans diene. So in these structures, the S cis configuration and S trans configuration cannot be interchanged easily at the room temperature because they are going to be fixed by cyclic structure. And because of this condensed nature, they show a large difference in their chemical properties. Now let us take the different examples of diene. So this is one type of diene and this is another diene. So first one is simply S trans diene and second one is the S cis diene. And we know that they are easily interconvertible at the room temperature. Let us take another two structures. This is one type of diene and this is another type of diene. In the third one, you can see that the pi bonds are present on the two different rings and they are having the S trans configuration. So this is the condensed S trans diene. But in the fourth one, you can observe that the 
pi bonds are on the same side of the sigma bond and they are in the cyclic structure so this is a condensed s cis diene now these dienes will show different chemical properties now how they are going to differ in reactivity these dienes mainly differ in their chemical reactivity particularly towards the diels order reaction in the diels order reaction a diene is going to react with a dienophile and it undergoes a cycloaddition reaction such that it is going to form a cycloaddition product here simply cyclohexene is going to be formed from 13 butadiene as well as the ethene so this is the diels order reaction and in this reaction the rate of the reactivity depends on the diene now this diels order reaction is a syn addition reaction that means the groups are attached on the same side of the pi bond therefore it shows the different rate of reactivity with respect to cis configuration and trans configuration now again if we see the different types of diene this s trans diene this is a condensed s trans diene this is a s cis diene and finally condensed s cis diene which shows the more reactivity towards the diels order reaction because the diels order reaction is a syn addition it is more favorable by s cis configuration and in the condensed s cis diene the cis configuration is more fixed so the condensed s cis diene will show the more reactivity towards the diels order reaction so we can give the ranking as 1 then we can give the second ranking to the s cis diene because the cis configuration always favors the diels order reaction then the third one is the s trans diene which is not favorable but still it can undergo the diels order reaction and the fourth one is the condensed s trans diene which is not favorable because it's having the trans configuration and it cannot undergo syn addition therefore this condensed s trans diene cannot show the diels order reaction in this way when our s trans configuration is going to be fixed by a cyclic structure it will not undergo diels order reaction so the rate of the reactivity of the diene depends on the configuration of the diene whether it is s cis or s trans whether it is condensed or non condensed so always the condensed s cis diene will show high reactivity whereas condensed s trans diene will not undergo any reaction towards the diels order reaction let us take one diene this is the condensed s cis diene just we have discussed that this condensed s cis diene can undergo diels order reaction very easily so when it is going to be reacted with a dienophile it undergo diels order reaction so we can write like this this bond can be shifted to this way and then we can put the sigma bonds here these bonds can be arranged and this pi bond can be shifted to this position in this way we can write the product now this reaction produces a product which is a bicyclic compound so condensed dienes when they undergo diels order reaction they will give a bridged bicyclic compounds and here what is the configuration of this aldehyde function group even in this reaction we are going to show the one product but this reaction can produce a two products with respect to the configuration of the aldehyde so one of the product will be like this where the aldehyde function group is going to be attached in this way and here you can see that the double bond is in the downward direction as well as aldehyde is again in the downward direction so both are in the similar direction that means aldehyde function group is towards the double bond so this type of configuration what we call the endo configuration similarly we can see another product where the cho group is like this now the double bond is in the downward direction now the aldehyde function group is away from the double bond that means they are in the opposite configuration so this what we call the exo configuration so in this way whenever a condensed diene undergoes a diels order reaction it can give the two products one is with the endo configuration and another with the exo configuration but even this reaction is going to produce a two configurations these two configurations are not formed in equal way always the endo configuration is more favorable compared with the exo configuration so endo product is the major product whereas exo product is the minor product now let us take the another example again we are going to take the condensed s cis diene this is going to react with a dienophile now this dienophile is having the carboxylic acid when they are going to react the new sigma bonds are going to be formed and pi bonds are going to be lost and one of the pi bond is delocalized such that they are going to form a product like this and it can also form another product like this now which is endo and which is exo configuration the first one the coh group which is in the downward direction this is the 
endo configuration and the second one which is uh, having the coh group away from the double bond is the exo configuration and here which is the major product the product with the endo configuration will be formed as a major product and the exo configuration will be formed as the minor product in this way endo configuration indicates that the group is towards the double bond or towards the atoms involved in the largest cycle similarly exo configuration indicates the groups are away from the double bond or away from the atoms which are involved in the large cyclic structure so here we can give the indoor exo configuration with respect to the double bond if they are towards the double bond endo configuration away from the double bond exo configuration so that's about the endo and exo configurations which are important in the deals order reaction when the condensed diens undergo the deals order reaction they will give the two products endo and exo products endo product is always favorable because because the deals order reaction is a syn addition reaction so that's for today if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video